Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to race number 11 of the Mountain Dew Live Wire Truck Series. We are here at Daytona for the Fanta 200 for 16 laps of racing around this two and a half mile tri oval track. Robert Rogers and Emily Brooks are on the front row. Alan Cavanero, Tony Vieira, row two. Eric Powers, Max New with row three. Nicholas Samudio, Kyle Collins in row four. With Michael Santos and Colby Alves in row number five. As these drivers get ready for 16 laps of racing. Now everybody pretty much knows Michael Santos' points lead has been cut down a bit. You've got Chris Carando second in points. And... Zachary Fitzwater is third in points, so let's see. Chris Grandle will start 12th. And Zachary Fitzwater is starting uh, 24th. But this is Daytona. You guys know just as well as I do. It doesn't matter where you start. It matters where you finish. So these truck series drivers are getting ready for 16 laps of racing as the drivers fire up their trucks. It's sure to be a good one. Remember the past few seasons, we've been starting the season here, but now we start the final part of the season here instead. So they get ready to begin the last eight races of the season. Pace truck is off pit road. Green flag is out. The Fanta 200 is underway at Daytona. So they're going to come down to complete lap number one. And Robert Rogers barely leads that lap as Cavanero takes the lead. But here comes Nicholas Samudio. And I've got to tell you, this sounds freaking awesome in my ear. The speakers are great. I know the only, I I don't think I've ever explained the reason why you guys don't hear the cars is because it doesn't mix the audio right and the video files get corrupted. So the only thing Bandicam records is the headset. Chloe Baker out front. As I'm sure you guys know, signups going on now. The regulars this time the season will continue while signups happen. So that teams, some teams like, for instance, KBM, even though Michael Santos is leading the points right now and has the best shot at winning the championship, they would rather have somebody else come in next season. So that so Santos will not be returning. So they are looking for the person that could win the championship. Or will definitely finish top 5, top 10 in points. As Brenda Rogers goes for the lead. And wow, she went down to take the lead. Entering the trial. And she took the lead that quickly. As here comes her teammate, Dylan Young. Who's announced that he will not be returning to the truck series. He'll be focusing his efforts in cup. So Dylan Young in the lead. Here comes Nick Pericles and Connor Breton. Ace Rogers, Nico Tringali, and the 05 of Zachary Fitzwater, who will not be returning to that ride. New driver has been hired, Andrew Rich. If anybody remembers that name, he was a part-timer back in season season three. And he was in the Season 2 trucks. Seen some familiar names on the season signups. Riley Houston. As Ace Rogers was leading. 
Nico Tringali on the bottom now, and it seems the high line does not get as good as a draft. Sam Rogers in the 28 will not be returning to that ride next season. He should be returning to the series, but Tony Vieira will be driving the 28 for his team. Also, we've had five new cars, uh, trucks allowed in the series, so we will have a field of 37. Those trucks is the number 82 Ford and the number 40, 50, 68, and 74 Chevrolet, which is a new team called TriStar Motorsports. The number 82 Ford going to Brad Keselowski Racing. It's Max Newworth in the 1, Nico Tringali in the 54 in the lead. Nico Tringali, you know, he's won three races this season. Now, I don't believe these drivers will have to pit for fuel or tires. I know Code Red and Cup probably will. Man, we had a great Code Red series race here back in Season 1. The night race, anyway, was really, really good. Great finish. And these guys are showing that the night race track is a lot better action, as now Newarth is looking for the lead. Sean Harple in the 63 was offered the number 40 by TriStar Motorsports, but at the time of this race, he has not responded. Thor Sport Racing has signed a new driver by the name of Tony Green to the number 88 Toyota for next season. So they'll have a new driver on that truck. So Nicholas Samudio will not be returning to that truck. He might return to the team. Don't know yet. The signups are still in the early hours. But Max Newworth in the race lead. Halfway through this event. Fastest lap goes to the 51 of Michael Santos, and I have no idea where he even is. As Sean Harper looks for the race lead, he's got Emily Brooks behind him. As Cameron Gadoo's there in the 99, Cameron Gadoo would like to return to that team, and the team wants him back. It's just a question of which truck he'll be driving in. So as these drivers are halfway, we're going to take a little break and be back for more action. Back here is the top two points. Just made a visit. You see Chris Carano leading the middle line. Michael Santos on the top in that orange Toyota is now. Santos will be blocked into the third line. So Santos might not get a good finish here today. And Carano might not either. As Chloe Baker leads, Alan Cavanero moving back up to the front here. Brenda Rogers. And Mason Powers in the 08. Mason Powers is up there in points. He could be looking for a good day here. As Chloe Baker leads, nobody has lost the main pack, and we have not had a caution. And if we have a wreck now, the race will most likely end. As now Mason Powers is down low, three wide for the race lead. Caleb Hoffman in the 92. Nick Pericles in the 8 on the bottom. This is really good racing, guys. They're going to get crazy. They're either going to make it to the finish going three wide, or they're going to wreck. Now Robert Rogers up here. Here's Nicholas Samudio telling him he's not going to be in that truck next season. Benjamin Tilton has announced he will return with Red Horse Racing. That is his team. So as Robert Rogers takes the lead from Mason Powers, had no drafting help entering the tri-oval. Five laps to go that time at the line. There's Tilton on the bottom. You got Colby Alves, I believe, there in the 29. Yep, there's Colby Alves with teammate Caleb Hoffman. As he moves to the bottom three wide for the lead, here comes Ace Rogers and Dylan Young on the bottom. Nico Tringali's down there too. Skylar Dixon. And we see Michael Santos still up top. A lot of these drivers are hoping he finishes outside the top 20. We have four laps to go. Colby Alves in the lead. He gets, he's getting too far out, though. They're going to catch him in the draft. 
Isaiah 3 wide all the way back behind him. He's the only car out ahead far enough. As Nico Tringali zooms in onto his back bumper. Here comes Peter Sands in that 19 truck. Zachary Fitzwater, Zachary Rogers, and Kyle Collins on the bottom. And there are drafting everywhere now as Nico Tringali is on the back of the 29. Three laps to go. Colby looking for his uh, first truck series win. He won the Code Red Series race the other week at Dubai due to pit road stupidity over there. That always seems to happen. And here comes Nico Tringali looking for the race lead. As they're starting to just single to double wide it up at the front. Zachary Rogers, Kyle Collins, Paul Sardinia in the 10. Coming at two laps to go. Three wide for the race lead. Nico Tringali led that lap. Holy crap, that could be the finish. As they're back to three wide. Almost four wide. Wow, Kyle Collins just jumped right in front of Paul Sardinia. Zachary Rogers to the race lead. We know he's won once this season already at Martinsville. He has not been doing that great in the standings, I don't believe. But here comes Kyle Collins. That ride will be driven by Philip Tringali next season. Here's Paul Sardinia on the bottom. And Michael Santos has made his way back to the low line. But will he be able to get through it in time? White flag is out here at Daytona. Connor Breton to the bottom. Here comes Philip Goldberg, who won at Coca-Cola. He knows the thing about winning at Super Speedways. Max North behind him, then Eric Powers and Jim Morton the third. It's going to be one of these four. Goldberg moves up to the top lane. Newworth is faster. Newworth on the bottom. Powers giving him a tiny shove to the bottom. Here comes Eric Powers in the 07. As they come out of turn four. Jim Morton the third is looking. Coming in the checkered flag. Eric Powers is going to win the Fanta 200. Holy crap, was that close. Jim Morton, the third, will come home second. Sam Rogers, third. Max Newworth, fourth. Cameron Gadu, fifth. Then Connor Breton, sixth. Tony Vieira, seventh. Philip Goldberg, eighth. Nico Tringali, ninth. And Paul Sardinia, tenth. As Michael Santos will come home 14th to many drivers' dismay. And Chris Carano will finish 23rd. Zachary Fitzwater will finish 22nd. So I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's race. This was great finishing. Green flag action all the way. Hope Code Red Series race will be the same way. And we will see you guys for that one. <laughs>